Thank you, Con Colin. Thanks for letting this topical issue. Uh, Minister, is this government anti-religion? I'm entitled to have my religion as every other religion are entitled to theirs and we're entitled to worship. This government doesn't know whether it's legal or not for it to allow us worship. We're the only country in Europe. Scotland took a case and yet the, legal, the state legal team could not answer a question today about if this is warranted or not. 130 people or more were in this room today voting on legislation and bills. There's churches in this country bigger than this facility. And yet, you only allowed 10 people in. Funerals, people at their most um, loved ones being buried, and 10 people. I'm from a family of 11. Who would I have to leave at home? God forbid if something happened in our house. And I have a family of six myself. This government needs to stand up, let people worship like we always did and not be the only Euro European country that doesn't stand up. Let Ireland stand up. The people of Ireland are standing up now and it's about time that you answer. Thank you Deputy Minister Thank Rabbit. You. Thank you for being here to deal with this matter. Thank you Karen Corla. And I would like to thank Deputies McGrath, Nolan, Collins and O'Donoghue for raising this important matter. And as the deputy, it's not my first time either, Kian Corla, to take this particular issue. I took it a number of weeks ago from, from the deputies uh, as well. And as the deputies are aware that the current public health restrictions at level five will remain in place until the 5th of April 2021, when a further review will be conducted. And this decision took account of a variety of factors, including the views of the National Public Health Emergency Team and the current epidemiology of COVID-19 and the need to take decisive action. The government remains united in its resolve to tackle the spread of COVID-19, the disease prevention and control strategy, and we have adopted, seek, we have adopted to seek to prevent the spreading of this virus amongst our population and the greatest extent possible. Based on the current epidemiology situation and the public health restrictions that are in place, it will be necessary to celebrate Easter online at home this year. This is for the protection of our friends, our families and our wider communities. The basic public health advice and regulatory measures aimed at blocking the transmission of COVID-19 from person to persons remain vital. From the beginning of the pandemic, we have emphasised the, the, that many measures that can be taken for keeping to do this, like keep our distance, wash our hands, wearing our face masks and avoiding crowds to take these measures. The COVID-19 Resilience and Recovery Plan continues to provide an appropriate mechanism to guide decision making and it will continue to be supplemented by more detailed sectorial guidance in relation to measures that apply at each level of the framework. We continue to see good progress, but it needs to be sustained. Speaking on a personal basis, I would like to assure the deputies that I'm extremely conscious of the burdens which have been placed on all members of society as a result of the restrictions that have been imposed. Many people have been unable to live their lives um, the way they normally would or participate in the usual rhythms of their community. And I know that, every, that very many people in Ireland have, been able to go, have not been able to go to local church, but it has been particularly difficult during this lengthened period and also again for Holy Week, um, which is a major source, of, as Deputy Norland says, as a source of comfort and solace at what is a very difficult time for our country and indeed for the world. Unfortunately, as the members of the House now know, the environment in which COVID spreads most easily is indoors where a group of people are gathered. At this particular moment in time, when we are doing our utmost to break the transmission cycle of the virus, that means we are regrettably have to make every effort to reduce gatherings. I would like to take the opportunity to acknowledge the work that the Catholic Church and other faiths have put, done to put in place comprehensive guidance, guidelines to protect their communities in compliance with the HSE public health advice. And we hopefully will be, unable to, will be able to move back to level five in the, from level five in the near future. Consistent with level five restrictions, however, at this time, religious services have moved online. Place of worship are open for private prayer, so they aren't closed, Deputy Collins. Places of worship are open. There are exceptions for funerals where 10 mourners may be in attendance and weddings whereby six guests may attend. Importantly, under the current public health regulations, ministers of religion are also permitted to travel to perform a service online, ministers administer the sick and conduct a funeral or a wedding ceremony. Since March 2020, we have learned to live in a world with this virus. 
We succeeded in doing this thanks to the collective efforts of all of us who adhere to the guidelines, and we can do again. And I will take on board everything that was said this evening and bring back um, to Minister Donnelly what was said by the four TDs. Thank you. Minister, I'd hate to pull you up on, on one of your own comments. You said the churches are opened. They're opened online. I've had people from Grana, Ballingarry, Croom, Partickswell. I can keep naming them. They told me that their internet service doesn't allow them because it's been broken down every day because of failure of the rollout of broadband. So the churches are not opened online. They're not there. We've had a funeral last week where it was interrupted four or five times and people trying to listen to a mass of a loved one. And they could not do it. Full attendance here today. Two metres is the distance. Work out the churches, work out the square metres. Open up our churches and let them be ran safely like they were. There was no incidents in a church. Ten in a church for, for a funeral. Six for a wedding. For God's sake. It doesn't make sense. And you contradicted yourself there. The internet is not there for the people in the rural areas. And the people that go to the rural mass in small communities are small numbers anyway. Which might only be 20 or 25 anyway. Thank you, Deputy. Minister, Orla, and yet again, I want to thank the deputies for raising this this evening. And I don't want to stand here and not to show empathy or understanding to what the deputies have raised. And I do, Deputy Donoghue, understand about the internet. Absolutely. And that's what some of my, co my constituency experiences as well. So, like, I think in all fairness, your, your points are very well made. Absolutely. All three, all four of you, your points are really made. And it's not that we are turning our back on their church. What has happened is we've decided to put public health first. That is the most Christian thing we could possibly do. And that is what this government has done. They have put public health first for the betterment of everybody. That is what they have done. But there is dialogue and the Taoiseach has met with the heads of the church. And I hope that that conversation does continue. That when we come out of where we are in level five, and you are right as well, if I can just finish here, Kian Corla, the churches did conduct themselves in a really responsible way, and that's important and it needs to be acknowledged. And yes, they had plenty of support and they had plenty of ushers there to ensure that distance was kept, to ensure that people could be protected at best they could. But unfortunately, we have found ourselves where we are at this moment in time. And we will, it, your case is put forward, as I said, I will bring it again to Deputy Donnelly, uh, Minister Donnelly, after tonight's meeting here tonight. But at this moment in time, government has put public health for the entire community right across this island first. Thank you, Ken Gordon. Mr.